Uh, the patient injured his toe uh, two days ago. He smashed it against a trash container, and about 90% of the nail looks like it's been separated. So I just went ahead and numbed him up, and now we're going to remove the entire toenail um, once he's numbed up. So we just make sure he's fully numb and he has no pain. So then we'll just take the hemostat and just kind of free it up from the nail bed. So you can see most of the nail is actually physically separated. It's just uh, attached at the base of the nail. So we're going to loosen that up, making sure we don't injure the nail bed at all, check for any signs of infection. And then once it's loosened, the whole nail sort of pops out uh, all in one piece. The key is to make sure you don't lacerate the nail bed when you do this procedure. So the nail comes off and now we're just going to inspect the nail bed for any laceration. Um, and it looks uh, fairly clean, no other signs of infection. We're just going to clean the wound. We're just cleaning out any residual uh, blood or hematoma that happened from the accident. And now we're just going to put some light pressure. Um, and then we're going to bandage him up. Um, here is the toenail. Took it off all in one piece. And now we're going to just clean up some more of the hematoma. Hematoma is dry blood that settled in the wound. And we just want to remove that, have a nice, um, healthy, fresh wound so he can heal it uh, correctly. And so we're just removing more hematoma, uh, cleaning up some of the dried blood. And then we're going to bandage him up. So for uh, when the entire nail is removed, I like to put a non-stick dressing. That's uh, what we're doing on there because sometimes regular gauze will stick to the wound. So I like to put a non-adherent dressing with some topical antibiotic. And then we're just going to put a compression wrap on the toe. And the patient is um, going to leave this on for about 24 hours. And after 24 hours, remove everything and do some soaking with some Epsom salt for about five ten minutes and then I wrote him a prescription for the same cream that I put on there he's gonna put that on after he soaks and the entire nail should grow back in about three to four months uh, hopefully won't have any damage to the nail because the nail bed was free of any laceration so he um, did very well